Today we again study negative mitzvah 251, the Torah's prohibition to cheat with our words. Yesterday we defined this cheating in one way, cheating in the sense of taunting, making a person feel bad with our words. Another way to define this prohibition of cheating is in the sense of misleading. It's forbidden to purposely mislead others with our words in ways that will hurt them. So Ramam gives a couple of examples. Firstly, a person who sees peddlers coming into a town looking for customers is forbidden to direct them to a place where he knows for sure there are no potential customers. That's misleading them with his words. Another example could be walking into a store and asking about the price of a certain product which you have no intention to buy. You're arousing the seller's excitement because he thinks you're going to buy it, and really you're thinking you're not even planning to buy it. In that case, to ask for the price would be misleading. The Talmud tells us that cheating or taunting with our words is even greater than cheating in business transactions.